Hi everyone and welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Nina and welcome to a brand new episode of Round the Corner, the show where I look ahead to Chelsea's next fixture, which just so happens to be Chelsea Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final, guys, Sunday 3pm at Wembley. Chelsea have a chance to win a trophy. And guys, it is always that hope that kills you as a football fan, no matter how difficult or how easy it looks on paper, anything can happen in a final. So we're going to hold on to that. But before I get into it, please make sure you're subscribed to Chelsea Fan TV. Remember to hit the like button and as always, comment your thoughts down below as I go through mine. But guys, exciting times. No matter how bad and poor we've been in the league, no matter how inconsistent, up and down, left and right, you know, issues with the lineups, issues with players out of position, tactical errors by Pochettino, substitutes that don't make sense, we have somehow ended up in a Carabao Cup final. You know, took a penalty shootout, took some games leading up to... Um, Obviously, the Newcastle game, which was the one we had to go through on penalties, but, you know, playing Black Blackburn, yes, and Brighton, and yeah, somehow we have gotten here. Obviously, Middlesbrough um, was the last hurdle we had to overcome, and that turned out to be a lot more difficult, but we are here, and guys, like I said, Chelsea have a chance, right? Let me know in the comments down below. But it's all about how we set up, what we can do, and it's all about which Chelsea can turn up. Hi guys, I hope you're doing very well. This video is sponsored by Match Bingo. Match Bingo is an easy way of having fun uh, when it comes to betting on the football. Now, think of bingo, but without numbers. So rather than having 10, 12, 5, you would have corners, yellow cards, and goals, for example. And that would be an example of a line. Now, you can win up to £175 each game with Match Bingo. There are some games you can win more. And spend is only capped at £2. All right? So if you're worried about not playing responsibly, this is probably a good game for you. I do just want to give these guys a, a little bit of appreciation as well. Because 35% of, of the money they make actually goes to the Stroke Association. Which um, is really, really good, to be fair. Um, I don't know many companies that do that. Let me know what you guys think. Click the link in the description and uh, make sure you're over 18 as well. And let me know if you guys win any money. It'll be interesting to see uh, how lucky Chelsea fans are. Hopefully, they're more lucky than we are on the pitch. And you know what, guys? If Chelsea have one quality that I can say for certain, it's unpredictability. And yes, it's got negative connotations, but it can also work in your favour. You know, we never know what we're getting with Chelsea. How can opposition possibly know what to get with Chelsea? So Klopp might be overthinking things a little bit here. You know, what's Pochettino going to do? I am just hoping that Pochettino takes pride and takes something from our performance against Manchester City, our performance against Aston Villa, maybe not Crystal Palace, but those results clearly got us there because we set up right. And I don't want him making any rash, you know, rash decisions where he's trying things out in the Carabao Cup final when he's not managed Chelsea in a final before. You know, he's going up against Jurgen Klopp, who literally will want to win anything he can for the last time with Liverpool this season. They're going to want to do it for him. So we absolutely must just be making sensible decisions. And I'm saying we as if I'm going to be helping Pochettino set up on Sunday, but I'm not. So I'm hoping that he has got it all, um, yeah, in control. But guys, uh, obviously recently Liverpool, who sit first comfortably in the league at the moment with really good games recently, high scoring, you know, three, four goals scored comfortably. They haven't really had an issue with scoring. They've been conceding along the way. They've had and picked up some injuries. And now suddenly a lot of Liverpool fans have turned around and said they don't feel too confident. Where's that come from? You know, a Chelsea team that has been struggling in the league, the, a Chelsea team that went away to Anfield and got thrashed by them, outperformed, outclassed in every sense of the word, and got absolutely nothing. So, obviously, I understand that they're going into this final thinking, yeah, okay, Chelsea could put up with something. There is still always that element, right? 
But I think we can all unanimously agree that Chelsea are the underdog in this final. Liverpool, not just the fact that they have been in good form, it's the fact that they have played finals under Klopp. They have won trophies. A lot of the players in their squads are winners. We don't have that many in the squads. And frankly, for some of those players, it will be the first trophy they lift on Sunday if they get to win it. So the difference in quality right now is worlds apart. And I know that uh, Liverpool too have young players, some that have just come through the academy and, you know, are finding their feet. But on the most part, it's such a difference when you're still playing alongside experienced players, those that can make the transition into that first team good and make you feel like you've been playing in that size for years and years. Chelsea, on the other hand, doesn't have that. You know, the reason we've been so inconsistent is partly because, <clears throat> excuse me, we haven't played together. We haven't played as a collective. These players... Well, the lineup changes pretty much every week as well, doesn't it? So you don't really know what you're getting until the day um, when we rock up and you don't know what performance you're getting out either. So already that makes you worry about the chemistry that the players have and will have on the day. You worry about how they'll turn up mentally because they could be so hungry and I'm sure they are. I don't doubt, not a part of me doubts that any of these players in our squad will not be hungry to win this final on Sunday. But it's also the mentality of being nervous that worries me. You know, that that's going to be normal. Being nervous at a final, you haven't played in one. Anything can happen, right? And that can be exposed. Wembley is a huge stadium. There's going to be loads of fans. It can be intimidating for the young players. However, we are going to be bagging on strong mentality, a good setup, good performance, and hopefully have that extra little bit of surprise that we can add to our game to get something out of Liverpool. Guys, I don't want to sit through another penalty shootout. I just can't do it. My heart will burst, my nerves, my hair will grow, go grey. I can't do it. I can't do it. And a part of me is telling me that there's going to be a job done in 90 minutes of open play. I don't know. Let me know in the thoughts in the comments down below what your thoughts are. I know that previous history coming head to head with Liverpool tells us otherwise because obviously nil-nil on both occasions in the finals a couple years ago and also previously in the league we have never had extensive score lines it's always been very narrow until the very last game that we played in the league um so again I'm not expecting a high scoring game I expect it to be tight I expect it to be good and that's exactly what tells you that there will be a performance you know if it's tight then that means that both teams have gone at each other if we can put up a performance that we can be proud of and hold our heads high then absolutely amazing but guys there's a lot of pressure here there is a lot of pressure and i know that some fans are going to be absolutely heartbroken me included because this is our only shot it's our most realistic shot isn't it at europe this season and if we don't get that it means that we have to rely potentially on the league which is a hard job we've obviously all we're all right oh i can't speak sorry guys we are obviously still in the fa cup um which is there is all to play for but that's the longer shot and there are still really good teams left in that we are so close guys we are literally a game away from potentially winning a trophy which will be season defining because we're gonna win silverware i don't really care how little or how unimportant this trophy is silverware is important and i'm absolutely not diminishing or disrespecting this cup in any shape or form I want it, Liverpool want it, Chelsea want it, everyone wants it. So it's going to be important for morale, everything. That doesn't mean that everything changes at Chelsea. Don't get me wrong, we can't ignore the league form. We can't ignore our position. That's got to pick up at some point down the season. It cannot continue on like that. But it seems that we can take some pride and some happiness from the way we've played recently, you know, coming up against Manchester City, await the Etihad, and holding a lead for 80 minutes. That... That should be something that we, we can walk into a final with our heads held high. Because had it been a loss or had it been, you know, a defeat, it would have been very different. And it would have been um, very sad to lose in that way because we played well. Um, you know, we were taking shots at times. We, yeah, could have probably finished and capitalised on some. But yeah, that's it. But guys, let's get into how I think Chelsea will set up. For me, I think personally nothing changes from uh, the previous game that we just played. And guys, that's probably a hopeful sign. You don't want you want don't want to break up something that has worked. You know, don't fix something that's not broken. 
this worked the setup worked tactically we were well we managed to expose city we managed to find those passages in behind and break through because we always say we work better with space and that's exactly what liverpool will probably let us do as well so we need to just replicate that and build on it i just hope that pochettino doesn't pull something out of the bag and he thinks that he can maybe outsmart klopp in a final by playing some someone i don't know like bloody de Sassi up top or something um but i just don't want any experiments that we haven't seen work you know it's no time for it pochettino has not been with this squad long enough to to be able to do things like that you know you only make experiments like that in a final when you have a system that's worked and flourished and you can provide that element of surprise for the opponent so none of that business no thank you but without further ado, it's going to be Petrovic and goal. Absolutely no Sanchez business. We're going to have Gusto at right back. The Sassi and Cole will paired in the centre-back role because they were so solid against Manchester City. I don't think Thiago Silva is quite ready for this final in terms of fitness. I would play him though if he was fit. I know a lot of you will disagree with me, but I would play Thiago Silva. Maybe I regret saying that now, but you know, fresh experience yeah anyways left back it's going to be Ben Chilwell into midfield Caicedo paired with Enzo because that partnership looked so bright and it needs to stay you know they need to be compact together um in order to get the best out of their game um as a collective um and obviously moving in front is going to be Conor Gallagher yeah his pace is going to be welcome he can run you a marathon if he wants to and that's going to be necessary in a final but obviously in the right way yeah I mean I, I don't mean just run around like a headless chicken obviously with intent right Cole Palmer on the right Raheem Sterling on the left and it's going to be Jackson up top it's as simple as that guys it's as simple as that and you might think in Kunku well that is perhaps where the element of surprise comes in guys and I set up this way because I know that in Kunku has to start in this game you know Pochettino yeah he'll replicate what worked so well but Nkunku is our almost secret weapon, and I don't know how he's going to utilise him. Will it be off the bench as a powerful force to provide those, you know, fresh legs if things start to get tense on the pitch and we're going at it neck to neck? Or does he start? But that means someone from this lineup has to be dropped, and it might be a case of seeing someone like Jackson maybe not play or Gallagher, which I don't think is likely. So let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to leave that one to you guys because I guarantee you Cole Palmer and Sterling have permanent spots in this lineup. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have done so, I'm not going to do any score predictions because I don't want to. I back Chelsea to have a chance in this. Let's be real. I'm going to the final. I'd be silly not to think that we have a chance. Anything can happen. We will be there. Otherwise, it's going to be tears with a sixth consecutive final loss at Wembley guys it is time to change that fate anyways remember to smash the like and I will see you in uh, the next video thank you so much and up the chels